Okay, instead of narrating every step that I'm doing, I'm just going to kind of give a brief explanation. Um, I'm just opening up in our spree template and loading in the part model at this point. And then the next step is to align the part in the proper orientation for machining on the main spindle of the star machine. And then we're going to cr automatically create the uh, turning features for the entire part. So there are our features. And then for the Swiss turning, we don't need to use the G54 and G55 work coordinate. We'll put all the features on one base work coordinate off the face of the part. And then we'll just start. Then we'll just start programming our operations using saved processes. Starting with the facing of the part. And need to adjust my stock diameter IC, so we're going to update our lead in value for the facing operation. And then let's continue on with the OD operation. Again, we're just using uh, saved processes, something very typical for any Esprit user to uh, save their commonly used processes for um, types of parts, types of machines, so all their machining prefer preferences are saved. And you can see in most of these cases um, it's a good baseline to start for any part where you only need to make a uh, couple of changes to adapt to any machining situation. Now we'll do the grooving. and the face drilling then next we're doing the ID turning another lathe contouring operation using a saved process for turning the ID of parts I just need to make sure my tool is selected, make a couple of adjustments uh, specific for this part if need to. Now, um, all these same things you'll see in uh, the other version of this video where I spend um, you know, a little more time explaining exactly what I'm doing. So at this point all of the turning is done. I just need to uh, move my attention to uh, the cross holes. So we'll create the uh, spree machining feature for those. Now that we've got the uh, the feature for the side holes, I'm going to put a little spiral milling operation on that mills uh, flat on the OD uh, diameter at the bottom of the groove, so I'm not uh, spot drilling and drilling right into the uh, radial surface of the part. You can see we're adding a dwell. Now we're going to do a contouring operation around the top of this chamfer. So instead of just coming in with a, uh, a spot drill to get the chamfer or a chamfer tool, we're going to actually do a 3D tool path on this feature. Um, to create the consistent chamfer between the um, the cylinder of the hole and the um, OD of the part. Now we're going to take all those operations to create the one hole and we're going to rotate that four times around for all of our holes and then we're going to 
reorder the operations so that they run per tool instead of finishing each hole completely. Okay, now that all of our um, main spindle stuff is done, I believe, we can go in and we can do a, a pickup with the sub spindle. Add the, uh, the weight code for the pickup. Select our feature for the cutoff operation. And there's our cutoff operation. Let's move the weight code down after the uh, turning or the cutoff tool so that um, the cutoff tool is actually pre staged before the sub spindle comes in and picks up. Add our other sync codes. What we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this feature. Uh, across the center line so we can actually use the same tool with the same orientation to do this back turning that I'm creating a one feature for where we come in and we'll back turn this geometry and then come across center line and, and get that chamfer on the other side. So let's make some make an entirely new operation saved from a saved process. All we have to do here is tell us free that we're working on the sub spindle and the main turret. Or I'm sorry, the uh, sub spindle and the head two to uh, properly program the sub spindle work. And the simulation will automatically know where where that uh, simulation needs to take place. And we'll do the same type of operation to clean up the chamfer. And you saw me clicking a few things in the wrong order there, so it took me a little longer to do that than it should have, but um, that's what happens in real life. Sometimes you pick the wrong thing, you have to go back and change it. Easy enough to do in a spree. Now what we're doing here is we're uh, reordering the operations so that uh, this back or sub spindle work is taking place at the same time as the work in the main spindle. Okay, now we have a part release um, where we're actually uh, dropping the part off into the um, parts catcher. And see here, I forgot to program this um, milling flat here on the back side, so we're going to go ahead and create that feature. Uh, just put a work plane on that back face, created the feature. select the feature with the saved operation and there's our milling operation. Now let's move that up just before the part pickup and let's run our simulation and give this a look. See if we've got what we're looking for. Looks good at this point, and that is 
a quick and easy Swiss programming job in a spree. Give you an idea just how quick and easy it is. Okay, simulation checked out and we're done, programmed.